Today guys, we're at the Milton Peter Dimitri Park. It's the city of Charleston Park. It's part of the Charleston Parks Conservancy area. It does close promptly at 8.30. These, these gates are automatic. So when you come here, be sure you're leaving before 8.30 because these gates do close. Now, when we were reading about this, it said there isn't a whole lot of land. It's just you go out onto a pier, there's nice water, you can fish, and the views are amazing. So we haven't been out to the views just yet, but we're gonna go find out what that's all about. This is in a neighborhood, which was kind of unexpected for me, but you get to see all these nice houses, you know? It is very quiet here. As far as I can tell, you can bring your dog, have a picnic, whatever. We're gonna go read that sign over there and find out. Just another really quick thing. This place does have restrooms and it does have a water fountain. Let me see if I can zoom in. So if you need either of those, you're good. Looks like you could actually do some wheelchairing in here if you needed to, but uh, let's go find out for sure. All right, so as you can see, it's open from dawn till 8.30, basically. That's when the gates close. So no alcohol, no metal detectors or digging. You have to remove your animal waste. Uh, no parking or driving on the grass. No littering, no unleashed animals, so if, you're, if you bring your dog, it needs to be on a leash. No golfing, no swimming, and no profanity. So apparently that's the rules of the, the thing here. There's a nice little beach. That's cute. This is graveled all the way up to there. So I would say wheelchair accessible, yes. And look at this lovely beach area. Going out to some piers there. See, somebody does have her dog. Looks like he's on a leash, though. Wow. Very nice. We never knew this was out here before. So we're going to go around over here. There's this walkway where all the little sailboats are. So we're going to go over there right quick. So my husband's with me on this little wander, and he says, This is a place to basically just bird watch. I love all the sailboats over there. That's part of the marina, it must be. So you walk around this way and they have little bird information things. This is a great place to bird watch. This is wide enough that if you brought a couple of chairs, you could sit out here and not bother anybody. And here's the different birds. Bird watching, bird identification. There's some fish and fish, fishing and fish identification as we're walking along here. And then like a possum, diamondback terrapin, which is a turtle. Red Fox, all the stuff you you can see out here and then it just takes you right up back to here. Oh, Rodney, so this is the beach area. We came down from those stairs over there, came across from where we were at the bird watching. And it's nice. It's small, but uh, you know what? There isn't a whole lot of people here, which is what we like about it the most. We can listen to the surf. And we're going to go over to that pier right there and just sort of take a look around. I see why they say the views are magnificent. You can see everything. That's awesome. All right, so we're headed over to that pier right over there. Okay, so that little pier where we were going to go, that's actually private. But I'm just going to pan around let you see the view from this little outcropping here that they have. So this little plaque tells you everything you can see from here. 
Um, it even has the skyline at the bottom here, and it tells you exactly what one, two, three, four, five is. That's pretty cool. So you have some sort of idea of what the heck you're looking at. Here's another one that does the same thing, again, the skyline. So like my husband was saying, there is downtown Charleston, and then here is Patriots Point. So this is all technically Mount Pleasant. Scanlonville, never been there. Oh, I guess that's where we gotta go next. Shim Creek, which I've been to before. And Mount Pleasant's Old Village. And that's how you can see that. And then here, number 13, Pit Bridge. Again, that's more Mount Pleasant. And then number 14, which is like right, let me see, right around in here becomes Sullivan's Island. And then there's the Fort Moultrie you can see from here. There's the lighthouse at Sullivan's Island. It's called Charleston Light. The Charleston Lighthouse. No, the Charleston Light on Sullivan's Island. Cool. Constructed in the 60s. And then you can also see Fort Sumster. And then you can also see Fort Johnson, which is actually pretty close. It's those tan buildings right there. So pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. I cannot wait to come out here and watch the sunset or rise or the next time anybody's doing fireworks, I'm coming here. Like, if I can. Oh yeah. Take your point. <laughs> because I your point fireworks would be nice from here. Yeah, I mean you'll be able to see everyone's fireworks from here. So I can't wait personally. So we're gonna go head out on the pier a little bit. As you can see, it's not a very large pier, but it's pretty cool. And my husband found a sign that says you can fish from this pier. Saltwater fishing license required. But you need a saltwater fishing license right there. So there we go. Um, you can fish from here. So pretty nice little place, guys. Pretty nice little place. So you can get right down onto the water here. And our little bird friend swim away. He was sitting here. You see him too, huh? Mm-hmm. And that's the beach from earlier. That's the lookout we were at. That's the other smaller beach. And we were sitting just over there recording our little information section for you. So as you can see, this is not a huge place. But it's pretty awesome too. I can even imagine coming out here to see the dolphins. Bye birdie. I'll see you later.